Hi. I'd like to talk to you today about the Water Sustainability Act framework that's laid out on pages 5, 6, and 7 of the policy proposal paper. This framework has been developed in response to what we heard through engagement that one size is not going to fit all for BC. We need a way to balance our need for efficiency, to make decisions quickly where we can, but also be able to put effort into those areas where we know we have problems. I'd like to take you into that framework right now. The Water Sustainability Act framework is built around seven key policy directions. The first is to protect stream health and aquatic environments. The second is to consider water and land use decisions. The third is to regulate groundwater use. And the fourth is to improve the way we regulate during times of scarcity. The fifth is to improve security efficiency and conservation of water. The sixth is measuring and reporting of water use. And the seventh is to enable a variety of water governance approaches. Before we talk about the framework, I just want to make a comment about the map. The colors you see on the map and the lines, they aren't set in stone. These have just been put together to illustrate how we think the framework will apply in BC. It's really to help us see the conversation. As we move forward, we'll develop criteria and thresholds. It'll help us determine where the different levels of action will play out in BC. Having said that, let's turn to the framework. In areas of the province where the water supply and quality are generally good, we're going to raise the bar on the way we license. We're going to include more conditions to protect in-stream flows, There'll be um, groundwater regulation brought in, and more measuring and reporting. Another piece that we heard through engagement that we want to include is agricultural reserves. Areas where we see water supply and quality issues, but we feel they can be mitigated, we'll introduce water resource assessment plans, which will give us more information for licensing that may result in more conditions and terms in the licenses that are granted more reporting requirements. Areas of the province with significant risks to supply and quality, where we see chronic conflict among users and the environment, additional tools will be applied, including watershed sustainability plans, more incentives to change the way water is used, and more detailed information collection so we can manage that resource better. One of the questions we've been asked is how do we know what level of action to apply to what area of the province? To avoid arbitrary decisions assigning certain areas, we are developing objective, quantifiable criteria that will guide the assignment of action level. If you have comments or questions on the Water Sustainability Act framework, please join the conversation on the Living Water Smart blog.